Scott Taylor Swift may have just outplayed Scooter Braun, Demi Lovato gushes over her boyfriend, and one of our favorite couples reportedly split up. Hey guys, welcome back to Shared News. We got a lot to talk about today, but before we get into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of it. We are back again. How's it going? I'm Renee Ariel, and I'm joined by Fiona Zaring. Hello. So Fiona, before we get into the happier news, the exciting news, the scandals. I want to start with the depressing stuff. So please tell me because one of our favorite couples just reportedly broken up and we need to talk about it. Yes, we definitely do. So if you haven't heard, apparently Lily Reinhart and Cole Sprouse have broken up. A source told People Magazine that they are no longer together. According to the source, they tend to be on and off, but are currently not together. Just wanna come out here right at the top and say their reps have not commented or released any sort of a statement at this time that we're recording. And they have also not said anything. So again, everything we're about to say is all just sourced. Um, but there seems to be a bit of evidence piling up that they may not be together. Cole's on-screen dad, Skeet Ulrich, apparently went on Instagram Live with his girlfriend, Megan Blake Irwin, and a fan asked, do you think that Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt are a cute couple? To which he responded, I think they were a very cute couple. And his girlfriend chimed in saying they were a very cute couple. They're both beautiful people. And she sort of emphasized the word were. So obviously were would be in the past tense, sort of adding to the fact that maybe they're not together. Obviously they're not filming right now, but you would think being co-stars that Skeet would be fairly in the know. Um, a source told E! News, quote, Lily and Cole were in a good place when Riverdale shut down due to the coronavirus outbreak, but they isolated separately and distance has never been a good thing for their relationship. The source continued saying, when Cole and Lily are around each other often, things are very good. Their relationship is very intimate and affectionate, but things become much more complicated when they're apart. So basically what, what the reason they've broken up according to all of these sources is they're literally not with each other. So they're not quarantining together. There's been a lot of distance. I mean, we've all been in this quarantine, so we know how long it's gone on. Um, and that has led to their apparent split. You guys remember back in April, Cole came forward with a very powerful statement on his Instagram after rumors got a little out of control that he was somehow linked to Kaya Gerber. Um, and he shut down trolls and social media and people commenting on their relationship when it should be private. Um, and if we go a little further back, it's been less than a year since they were reported broken up and then came forward and said, you don't know what you're talking about, we're still together. So it's always a roller coaster with them. If you remember the last time that the world erupted with breakup headlines, Lily tweeted, don't believe everything you read on the internet, kids, and news sources should try a little harder to be less vile. Reliable sources can kiss my ass. So just wanted to throw that in there because once again, we're reporting they broke up according to these sources. So what do you think, Renee? What are your thoughts? I mean, I'll tell you, I think that the Instagram live itself in my opinion, would be confirmation that the two are not together. I don't think that they would have emphasized were so much. If they were still together, it would have been, they are a cute couple. So I think that's enough evidence as it is, but because we know Cole and Lily, like I would also not be surprised if tomorrow Lily posts on her Instagram saying, no one knows anything, we're still together and we're, quarantining together, jokes on you. I don't know, that wouldn't surprise me either. I I will say though, long distance relationships are always um, put to the test and distance is super hard because you have to rely completely on technology to keep you guys in communication. And some people suck with their phones. They suck with making FaceTime dates. FaceTime dates are like, you have to put it in effort because all you can do 
is talk to them through a screen. There's no physical touch. There's no real activity you guys can do outside of maybe watching a movie together or a lot. I know a lot of long distance relationships, um, those kind of the long distance couples get very creative, but it's a lot of effort you have to put in. So that, that aspect wouldn't surprise me, especially if the source is right about them having issues with distance in the past, like this quarantine has been going on quite some time. And on top of that, without a like confirmed date when this will all be over with and things will be normal again, that already, like there's no light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of couples. So imagine already that being so difficult for you. And on top of that, you can't be like, well, it'll be better next month or next week or so, so whatever. It's just, you kind of have to wait and feel it out. I get why that would break up any couple if you're already struggling with distance. Absolutely. I think, you know, they got together in 2017 and regardless, I mean, they're so private. They have never really sat down and gushed in an interview, tell all about their relationship. But again, credit to the sources or not, sources since 2017 have said that they're on and off or they're up and down mm -hmm. and, you know, they find their way back and this and that. So you have to wonder what sort of amount of truth there is to these rumors. And ultimately, I think that if they do have an on and off relationship pattern and right now they're a little bit off, there's not any sort of lock and key. They will never get back together again. Um, yeah. But we'll see. I have a feeling that if the rumors continue and they are still together, they will eventually set them straight. Um, and maybe, maybe it'll take a little while, but we'll, we'll, I think we'll eventually hear their take on it. They tend to come forward to set things right if things get a little out of control. So for now, uh, if you're a sprouse heart shipper, keep your fingers crossed and <laughs> we'll just have to keep our eyes open for an update. Speaking of keeping our eyes open, we are constantly keeping our eyes open for Easter eggs from our Lil Taylor Swift. And you guys, there is a lot going on in the Swift world. Let's talk about it because you probably know um, Taylor posted to her social media sharing excitement for this new cover of Look What You Made Me Do that's featured on Killing Eve. She wrote, quote, very stoked about this cover of Look What You Made Me Do on Killing Eve by Jack Leopards and the Dolphin Club. Well, if you do literally any research, you'll soon find out that that's not a real band. So naturally, Swifties put their detective hats on and they looked into this. So what they've noticed and what they figured out through investigation is that Taylor is credited as one of the composer lyricists along with Jack Antonoff, who we know often works with Taylor Swift, um, Richard Fairbrass, Fred Fairba Fairbrass, and Rob Manzoli. On top of that, and this is like the huge, huge, huge giveaway, you guys. Nils Schoberg is listed as the producer of the song, which obviously we know is a pseudonym that Taylor used when she was writing This Is What You Came For with Calvin Harris. Remember when that drama all went down? Um, so what fans have come to the conclusion of is that fans think that Austin Swift, Taylor's brother, is the one singing on this cover. And they think this because I guess um, Austin had a Twitter handle that was called the Dolphin Club a while back. Now, obviously it's not that anymore, but that was like one hint. Um, and then on top of that, Taylor and Austin were both spotted with Jack Antonoff at the studio late last year. And then on top of that evidence, if you guys watch the Look What You Made Me Do music video, there is a dolphin under the Nils Schoberg gravestone so there's like a lot of a lot of hints and if you guys remember when uh taylor actually went on ellen and was playing burning questions ellen asked her what her favorite show was and taylor said killing eve and then at the end of the interview she admitted that she left some easter eggs in the interview which now we're i mean between like the dolphin on the tombstone the fact that she said Killing Eve is her favorite show, the fact that this band doesn't exist, it's all pointing to something going on where Taylor's super involved in this cover and that the band doesn't exist and it's probably either Taylor's brother or friend or something, but I'm thinking it's her brother. Um, as to why she might've done this, you guys, 
fans have their theories, but the biggest one is that she they think that uh, Taylor didn't want Scooter Braun to make a penny off of this cover. Um, you guys, we don't even need to get into the Scooter Braun drama. You guys all know the Scooter Braun drama, but one fan tweeted, Taylor made up a whole band called Jack Leopards and the Dolphin Club consisting of herself, Austin Swift, and Jack Antonoff to cover Look What You Made Me Do, which is sung by Austin, partly produced by Taylor herself to not let Scooter gain a single cent from it. Taylor Swift is a genius. Another <laughs> tweeted, so you're telling me that Taylor Swift produced a new Look What You Made Me Do cover under non-existent bands called Jack Leopards and the Dolphin Club so Scooter wouldn't get any coins from her art? Um, another said, don't mess with this woman. I repeat, don't mess with this woman. Her mind is fire. And I just gotta say, if this is true, she's a genius. This is the most absurd thing. If there wasn't so much proof pointing to this being correct and we weren't talking about Taylor Swift, I would be like, y'all are crazy. Like, these are just conspiracy theories. Like, why would, why would someone make up a band, have her brother, like, but it's Taylor Swift and she would. This is so funny. I, here's the thing. As you were explaining all of this, I was just like, how do you, I am, I would consider myself a decently clever person. I couldn't even begin to keep all of these clues and facts and trails straight. I mean, if Taylor Swift was not a musician, she would have to like join the CIA or something because she clearly <laughs> has a mind for a mystery. And I think that at the end of the day, there's something to be said about like with Taylor Swift, you get a musician, you get an entertainer, and you also get a detective or a reverse detective, I guess. Like she entertains her fans in so many ways. And anybody out there with the theory that this is somehow to stick one to Scooter or, you know, something in that realm, I would not be shocked and I say good for her. If she could figure out some sort of way to weave a web and take back what's like rightfully hers, then I love it. I'm into it. And if it's not, yeah. and it was just some sort of fun conspiracy theory with her brother and this was all just like a fun thing, then that's awesome too because it kept me entertained all day. My question is, will Austin Swift now have a music career? Is this the only cover he'll do or will he do more? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Cause I, I Maybe this I is the know. band's debut. I mean, Maybe Jack, 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 Jack Leopard's in the Dolphin Club. What a name. What a name. Um, speaking of names, what's the name of Demi's boyfriend? Ooh, Max. it is Max. <laughs> Demi's new man is Max, and she is opening up about their relationship. She seems so happy, you guys. She shared a photo of herself and her boyfriend on Instagram, and she captioned it, I now spend my days in a bathing suit with no makeup with someone who accepts and loves me for who I am, flaws and all. I love you. Um, this is like so cute. I am so happy for her. They're clearly quarantining together. And quarantine can put any relationship to the test. And as far as we're aware, this is sort of a newer relationship. So I yeah. love to see her so happy. Um, they were first reported as a couple back in March. And then I think you'll remember that moment they kissed in Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande's Stuck With You music video. Since then, you guys, they have been posting tons of adorable PDA moments on Instagram. Um, and the best thing, this is a little old by now, but in case you guys missed it, I just want to bring it up again because I think it is so hilarious. Max has had a crush on Demi since 2011. Uh, he tweeted way back then, all I wanted for Christmas was Demi Lovato. Hashtag can't always get what you want. So I guess the moral of the story there is if you wait, you know, a while, maybe you will get what you want. And <laughs> This is clearly some sort of weird manifestation thing come to life. I'm very happy for him that his dream came true. And I'm just happy for her that she's happy. What are your thoughts on them as a couple? Yeah, I completely agree. I think we all deserve to find someone that accepts us for who we are, flaws and all, and that can tolerate us for two months straight without any breaks. Okay, that is a dream come true. 
I know because I was one of the people reading all the memes and jokes about how quarantine is gonna break up so many couples because when you're around anyone non-stop for an extended period of time it tests everything because at this point you're not even yourself you're an insane version of yourself like the, the the sane version of yourself left a couple months ago like you're now this new version that had to complete completely readjust everything in their life because we, I mean this flipped everyone's world upside down we are no longer living our regular day-to-day -day. so when you're a couple and you're experiencing that together if it brings you even closer I mean that seems meant to be to me so I'm happy for her especially with like everything that Demi's dealt with in the past with relationships like she so deserves someone really great that appreciates her for who she is and I'm here for it. Honestly, bring on the bring on the PDA. I'm here for it. I'm not bitter because I'm alone. I'm happy for them. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our little pop culture update. I would love to know, do you believe this Taylor Swift theory? And if so, do you think that Austin Swift will sing again? Also, if you're not bitter, like I'm not bitter. Um, what did you guys think of Demi's cute post with her boyfriend? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our stories. If you'd like to follow us in the meantime, you guys can follow me at Renee Ariel on all socials and Fiona, where can they follow you? You can find me on socials at Fiona Zaring. All right, you guys, we'll see you back here next time.